Hey everybody, you ever wondered what keeps the wheels on the trains and the rails from getting worn out quickly in curved territory? Maybe none of you ever even thought about it. But anyway, there is a way that they keep that from happening. And I'm going to explain it to you right now. Well, I just happen to be standing here, do a little piece on curve oilers, and here comes the train. So we'll catch him coming through here. You can hear, we're not standing in a curve right now. Curve right up there. I know in a lot of my videos and a lot of times uh, if you're along the track somewhere you can hear the wheels squealing and making a lot of noise and that is obviously because the metal on metal the wheel flanges and the rail and if that isn't taken care of the wheels and the rails will both wear out pretty quickly. That is why I'm doing this piece on curve oilers. And this is a curve oiler right here as these wheels go across the curve oiler. When the train's gone, you'll be able to see this. I'll talk about it a little more then. It pumps a little bit of uh, grease out onto the this little section right here and keeps the wheels and the rails lubricated. But in the meantime, got this UP manifest. I always think it's kind of cool whenever I'm shooting. I had a subscriber ask me about all the weird noises trains make. That one, I, I really don't know what that is. I don't know if that's something between the cars. Here's some squealing down there. I said those are the wheels squealing against the rails. But anyway, I like to catch trains when I'm shooting segments on uh, different pieces of equipment. This brings a little life to the video, I think. Satisfies those curious about how things work and those who just like to watch trains. We are between Marcel and Cable. Tunnel 14 is right up there, about I don't know, a quarter of a mile or so. For those of you who are familiar with the, the railroad alongside Highway 58 near to Ashby, uh, tunnels 14, 15, 16, and 17 are the ones you see alongside the freeway on the other side of Tehachapi Creek, just before you come into Tehachapi. This guy was actually stopped down at Marcel earlier. I assumed he was waiting for a train to come down the hill, but as is not uncommon, I was mistaken about that. Beautiful day up here. It's February 28th. breezy. Feels good though. Spring's definitely upon us. Obviously another one of the uh, PSR Precision Railroading 2020 plan trains. A 
long and loaded. That's the end of it. No drone, so I guess it's not that heavy. All right. Now you can see these little bar type things attached to the rail on each side. And as the uh, flanges of the wheels go across those, as I said, it pumps out a little bit of grease onto the top of those, on the insides of the flange, on the bottom of the wheels. And that is how they keep the rail and the wheels from wearing too quickly. Now these curve oilers are pretty trick these days. They have a little electric motor in them that is what, uh, when it senses the uh, wheel, it pumps uh, the grease out there and the motor is run by a solar panel. Back in the old days, they actually had little uh, hydraulic pistons that the uh, flange of the wheel actually ran over and every time the piston would get pumped by a wheel it would put a little grease out there they were quite a bit messier these are still as you can see compared to out here where everything's pretty clean they're still pretty dirty but the old ones were real bad you'd come here and they had uh oh, it was they were a mess but they have a guy whose job i assume they do i haven't spoken to anyone recently that did that but they had a guy and he was called an oiler and his job was to come and make sure that these were uh, filled with grease that they didn't run out i'm sure they have a guy that still does that but uh, anyway so there is a little bit about curve oilers to save the rail and the wheels on the train well I hope that answers uh, some questions that nobody ever really asked. But anyway, there you have a little piece on how the curve oilers work. If you have any ideas, be sure to shoot me an email or put it in the comments below. And as usual, like, share, subscribe. If you like what you see, click on the bell to be notified of future content. And we'll see you all later.